hello all now we'll see how do you register the patient uh, in live health so you come to the registration screen um, and now we'll enter the patient name okay the system looks for um, whether the patient has already been registered earlier uh, using name uh, and if there are no matches found you can register the patient newly but if the patient is already registered earlier it will show up here like this similar names which you have registered earlier and you can select that patient we will register a new patient from blank so we'll start uh, by entering the name and uh, we'll enter the date of birth okay and uh, uh, we'll enter the gender or we can just select the designation from here uh, then we'll enter the contact number okay okay now we'll enter the organization and referral and so after entering all the details I'll enter I'll click on register and bill to go towards billing for that patient okay so I'll enter the test name which needs to be billed for this patient so I'll enter the test name okay so you see that the once I enter the test name, I see two uh, prices for the same test. One is the default price and one is the referral price. Select the referral price um, based on the configuration. I'll select the referral price. Okay. If you have uh, prices configured for an organization, that also will show up here. To add the test, uh, you need to um, search the test name uh, using the name and select using the arrow keys. And then once you are arrived at the test you want to pick, just click on enter and enter once more to add to bill. Okay. So you need to search first, then uh, select to enter and then enter again to add test to the bill. And then subsequently you can keep on adding test. The bill. If you don't want to test, you can remove it from here. Uh, you can fill other details like um, uh, if there are any other concession which you want to give okay either in absolute uh, terms or in percentage you can give uh, from here you can mention the reason for giving discount in the comments you can then also add the amount which is paid in advance by the patient if there is nothing they are not paying anything you can keep this zero uh, if they are paying in advance some amount um, then you can add that one amount here and you can select the payment mode from here so once everything uh, you've confirmed uh, just click on confirm and bill okay now the bill has been generated and now you can see the samples which are needed to be collected from the patient if you have already collected the sample earlier uh, from the patient uh, you can update the sample collection time over here and you can mark the sample as collected or directly mark the sample as received to know more about the difference between collect and receive uh, watch our video about uh, sample accession okay if you don't want to do either of them and just want to print the barcodes you can use this drop down to print individual barcodes or you can print all of them together using this button so you can print the barcode uh, from here after you printed the barcode uh, you can print the uh, patient receive from here and give this receipt to the patient so once you're done with uh, this patient you can close this and move on to the next patient